Welcome to Cyber Culture Interface. Today, I'm sharing on how I passed my Computer Security Pro Certification exam with less than 30 days preparation. If you are joining us for the very first time, please like this video, I mean, like this channel, subscribe to this channel, and share this video. How I passed my Security Plus certification with less than 30 days preparation. The first thing I will advise you to do is to get your mindset right. So there are a lot of people that are coming with different mindsets when they are approaching an exam. The mindset, the proper mindset you need to have is a positive mindset. They have the mindset that you are going to pass and that this is not too difficult for you to take on. Regardless of the number of uh, days or weeks you have set for yourself to prepare or you have left to prepare, set up your, make, set up your mind in such a way that you are focused on succeeding in this exam have a positive mindset and not just that you're having a positive mindset about you passing have a mindset that you're going to pass within the time you have if for instance you are setting 30 days have a mindset that within 30 days that 30 days is enough for you to study and to pass the exam if you are preparing for it with if you have 60 days have a mindset that with the six days is enough for you to read and pass. So have a positive mindset that you're going to pass. That's the first thing you need to do. And that's the first thing I did. The second thing I did was to go to CompTIA Security Plus and understand what CompTIA Security Plus is all about. So if you go to CompTIA Security Plus, CompTIA, CompTIA website, on CompTIA website, there are a lot of exam certifications that they have. So look for the one that you want to take, in this case, Security Plus. Look for what Security Plus is all about. Check out the objectives of Security Plus. Check out what you, what you accepted, uh, expected to know. Check out the number of domains. Security Plus has about five domains. Check out the domains. Check out the topics covered by the domains. Get familiar with the number of questions you are expected to uh, take in the exam. Get familiar with the number of uh, hours or the duration of the exam. And also look out for the percentages of each domain. The number of questions you are expecting or the percentage of each domain that make up the entire exam that you're going to have. In this case, so you, get, you are getting familiar, you are seeing what you are going to be coming across in the exam, and this will help you prepare your mind, especially when you are getting ready to The second thing I did was to go to study. The next thing you need to do is a self-assessment. So this self-assessment is critical because you will not be deceiving yourself. For, for me, I said I did it within less than, uh, with less than 30 days preparation. It's because of my background. That's the honest truth. I have a number of years of experience in IT and in cybersecurity. So there are a lot of questions that I will not have to spend a lot of time trying to understand. For instance, now I don't need to study hard or do thorough study for me to be able to configure a, a firewall. For instance, I understand the basics. So if I'm reading that, I can read that maybe within one hour and get ready. But if you know where you are coming from, do you have a technical background? Are you coming in for a different from a different career, do you have no knowledge of cybersecurity or IT, do a self-assessment and be honest with yourself, know where you stand and use that one to determine how long you have for preparation. And the second thing you need to do on that self-assessment is to have a why. Why do you want to take this exam? In my own case, one of the reasons why I want to take this exam is because I want to be validated, you know, to be able to create content on Security Plus for my audience on this YouTube channel. So you can imagine for me to be creating YouTube channel or videos on Security Plus and I'm not Security Plus certified, it sounds somewhat. So I needed to write this exam to validate my knowledge and to be, you know, to be validated to share this kind of video with you. So have your why. Once you have your why, the next thing you need to do straight is to schedule your exam. Imagine, yes, you had me right. Before you even start preparation, schedule your exam. You know, it's like you are throwing your feet, you're, you're throwing your leg into the ocean. Once you schedule your exam, the motivation, the drive to study, the drive to get the resources, the drive to do the next things will be there. So scheduling your exam means you are making payment, you get the voucher, and you get your exams, re get yourself ready. You've thrown yourself into the deep water. Now you have to swim out so success. So once you schedule your exam, the next thing is to get authentic study resources. The number one place to get authentic study resources is to go to CompTIA website itself. Go to CompTIA website download the objectives, download their study guides. Their study guides are paid, they are not free, but they have about the first chapter for free. So download the study guide. If you have to pay for it, pay for it. They have also other learning materials, so get authentic learning materials. Once you do, uh, from CompTIA Security Plus, I can guarantee that they have authentic materials. You can also check other places like Udemy or maybe Coursera. Check other places for 
study materials that are authentic that you can use to prepare for the exam. It is very important that you prepare with the right way because if you are studying an outdated, uh, you know, material, you 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 definitely be you know dumbfounded in the exam. You know, you'll be reading amiss. So you need to get authentic study materials. And the next thing you do after one is to watch videos. For me, I'm a visual learner, but I realize that. Uh, videos is very helpful i like studying or reading hard copy but after reading the videos help me to learn to you know kind of integrate what i've read about more it gives me a feel as if, as if i'm practicing so but videos are very fantastic because you can see demonstrations you can see and you can also interact with the owner of the video for instance if you watch video videos i watch was were we're all on YouTube. I can drop a comment if there is a question or if there's something you don't understand. You can drop a comment and most likely you get a response. So videos help are very helpful. And I, I'll put in this uh, video description links to the videos I use. I use Professor Mesa. I use Exam Cram. I use the Informatic Lab. These videos are very rich and they are very current. They have the current materials that meet up with what you want. Please check the links in the description. And also, I have a link uh, that leads you to, if you're interested in slides of my past videos, especially courses I did on ISC2 Certified Disabled Security, you can check it out. It can be very helpful in giving you a background too in this. So when you watch your videos, the next thing to do is to practice, practice, practice. So get questions and practice from wherever you can. Just go online, search for Computer Security Plus Certification Exam, get the relevant ones, practice, no question is too uh, you know, off the topic. Get the, words, get the ones that are related and updated. Practice, practice, practice. On YouTube videos, too, there are some channels that are dedicated to treating question and answers. In fact, like Informatic Lab that I mentioned and some other uh, video links that I'm going to put in the description, they provided very good uh, practice questions. In fact, some of the questions I practiced or I saw on those videos, I came across them during the exam. So, it shows that these people are making use of authentic materials and then they can really be very helpful for you. So after practicing, the next thing is to take your exam and pass it. So, of course, immediately after practicing, don't waste time. For instance, if you prepared for six weeks or you, if you set a target of six weeks, on the fifth week, by the fifth week, I expected you to have covered all the five domains and also be practicing. I have practiced maybe... 100 question or 200 300 question ensure that when you are practicing you are scoring above 85 percent above 80 percent at least so if you take 100 questions that means you should get 80 out of the 100 questions right so you can check yourself whether you are doing online you are using a practice lab whatever way you are practicing your questions make sure you are scoring consistently above 80 percent once you do that you are ready for the exam i can guarantee you take your exams and pass it I will also be sharing more uh, details and breaking down some of the topics in this Security Plus in subsequent videos. So if you are joining us for the very first time and you have learned one or two things or you like this video, please go ahead and like, subscribe to this channel and share. And then let's grow this channel. I will be coming up with other videos that break down some topics on that Security Plus. And also, I will likely be reviewing question and answers sometime later, maybe in a live uh, streaming session. Thank you for watching. This is how I passed my Security Plus certification with less than 30 days preparation.